long as the music plays, we dance. Welcome to Pagan Versus, a new segment where I go over some characters and lore that have been neglected. For our first entry, I present a Vexus. If you don't know or remember Vexus, allow me to tell you her brief story and the role she played in the legend of the seeker and hero of our lady, Cassandra Pentagrass. A young elven mage who was being raised and trained in the white spire circle of Magi in our lake, where she was kidnapped by radical blood mages led by the apostate Finnick. Taken due to her unique ability to control creatures, she was force fed fresh dragon blood as a means to awaken her full potential. The purpose of the ritual was to use her abilities to control several dragons and attack the divine during a 10 year gathering in Orle. Cassandra and the rest of the Seeker Order hunt down Fennec and his cult to rescue a Vexus, but fail to do so until after the ritual is complete. However, the Seekers were able to initially rescue Vexus, she was taken again no sooner than she was rescued. Under the manipulation of Phoenix blood magic, Vexus used her abilities to command dragons to attack the Grand Cathedral. While she was free from Phoenix control during the attack, Vexus then used her abilities to assist Cassandra by having a high dragon attack a possessed Phoenix who had transformed into a pride demon. With Vexus' help, Cassandra defeated Phoenix and saved the divine. In truth, while the story mainly focuses on Cassandra Pendergrass, Vexus was the main catalyst for the events that took place. Vexus' ability is astounding and incredibly rare even among mages. At the time of Phoenix's plot against the Divine in a 10-year gathering, it was 922 Dragon, where Vexus was 10 years old at the time. When the events of the Inquisition were taking place in 940 Dragon, she would be 28. So what happened to Vexus? What became of this unique mage? Did she survive the Mage Templar War? Did she succumb to demons at some point in her early life? Or did she go on to assist Thetis in some grand way? But well, Vexus actually went on to stay at the White Spire and even remain by Cassandra's side during the events of the Inquisition. Early on in the Inquisition's birth, she can be found in Haven right next to Mother Giselle. In the Haven's Chantry, one can overhear Mother Giselle speaking to a young mage about being made tranquil. Mother Giselle asks the mage what they thought about having their tranquility reversed. The mage simply says, I have heard rumors of a way to reverse the right of tranquility. Yes, I have heard them as well. Would you wish to have your self restored? I do not believe that would be wise. The number of demons present might leave me vulnerable to possession. I might also experience feelings of discomfort over events that occurred while I was in this state. I can survive in this fashion. If I were made whole again, I might not. Astonishingly, the young girl of Vexus was made tranquil sometime in the intervening years after aiding Cassandra. It was by her choice or not is uncertain. But Vexus was obviously a unique thing and could have gone on to assist others in some grand way. 
heartbreaking to think about what else the young girl had witnessed even after her experience with a blood mage coat. While it is possible for her tranquility to be reversed, it is doubtful that this will happen given what Vexus herself says. It is rather sad that this young girl was made tranquil after all she went through, but also that she was still by Cassandra's side when the events of the Inquisition are taking place. Perhaps a new hero will encounter Vexus in future journeys, where she may go on to assist them in some way. Whether Vexus remains tranquil or not is unknown, but now you know the forgotten verses of Vexus, the Speaker of Dragons. Never let her song go forgotten again. Well, Peck, let me know what you think about Vex's fate and your opinion about if we should see her in future Dragon Age content. Please tell me what you think about this new segment and if you think I should revamp it. I created this as a way to make videos that were easier to edit and get out to you guys much faster since my lore videos take me so long to get out. I began with Vexus since her story was a lot shorter and I didn't think it fit into the structure of a lore video. Let me know what you guys think and I look forward to your feedback. Also, if you want further confirmation that this tranquil woman is the same as Vexus, then you can look no further than the writer for Dragon Age Inquisition, Patrick Weeks. We we'll answered a Twitter question from a fan specifically about a Vexus. Here, the fan Mario asks the writer if he knows of a Vexus, the girl from Dawn of the Seeker, is a tranquil now. Weeks sadly replies, I do believe there is a tranquil in Haven who knows that she no longer talks to dragons. This outright and sadly confirms that the young girl is indeed a Vexus, as who else can speak to dragons? With that sad conclusion, be sure to share this video, leave a like, and comment on what you think about this new segment, and what forgotten verses you'd like to see me investigate in a future entry. Until next time, thanks for watching, Minerelle and Unsolved.